the burning season runs from October the 1st until April the 15th. We burn primarily to provide young shoots of heather for the grouse to eat um, and it provides a habitat for other moorland nesting species as well, such as curlews and dunlins and, and uh, peewits and that sort of thing as well. The, the habitat's provided by the different stages of the growth of heather. We need some old, taller heather for, for uh, cover when the snow on um, and cover from predators. The shorter heather is feed heather. The reason we burn it is to provide the small, tiny, nutritious shoots of the young heather growth, and that's what grow seed. Um, we provide grit on the moor for them as well. Um, but the, we, we try to burn a small area of the moor in, in each unit on the moor, we try to burn a small area just to provide that patchwork quilt of growth on the moor. Um, and the, the, the burning as well, it provides a fire break um, in case of a wildfire. The, the shorter heather tends to burn with less ferocity than the old, taller heather. Um, so what we try to do is to put in small fires all over the moor and create a fire break as well. I've seen a massive improvement in the way uh, fire services cooperate with each other. Uh, the equipment that they're getting as well, such as Arga cats and fogging units, you know, to help put wildfire out. There seems to be the investment there um, to, to, to make a wildfire not such a scary thing to us. Uh, the main thing is everyone's talking to each other. Uh, there's a lot of way forward uh, with regard to people that work on the land. Um, the fire operations group has brought people together, brought the fire service together, the landowners, gamekeepers, farmers, um, to help control the wildfire if it does set off.